exciting time to be in Sydney. Horse arrived great. Parades have been strong. Had one up yesterday and sold it, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, 260000 for a high chaparral colt, which is a nice price. Australian dollars, close to 300 Kiwi. South Pacific pesos go a long way with the Australian dollar. Our three today, uh, we're very confident we'll get two of them sold. And uh, it's going to be a pricing issue, I think, with the third one. And it's about what we get for them all, not as an individual. If we can get someone around high eights, nine, someone around there for the lot, we'll be, you know, we'll be reasonably happy. So you didn't have one with the T brand on it. Now you've got it right. You've got that T brand on there. You'll be all right now. I'm just running around chatting to people, trying to get them on our horses, trying to get them up a little bit from where they think they are, and trying to make sure they're all sold so that we don't end up taking any home. It's expensive to take them home. Cherry's a hustler. She'll go out there and find people to be able to uh, come and look at the horses, and she's. Uh, She's a born salesperson. Oh, well, don't give up, I've got another two to go. Okay. <laughs> First one's Fastnet Rock Philly, it's going to be uh, pretty strong, you know, the parades have been very good for her, the right people looking at it, so we'll see. Yeah. Well, we might have got out four, 380. Thanks mate, thank you. thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you Simon. It's all cool. 380 is good price. Uh, you know, that's 450 odd Kiwi. Uh, that's a hard price in this market. You know, once you get close to that four mark, it's it's really hard to get uh, get any better. So yeah, happy. It's cool. But if you could develop a price like they have done for uh, the Black Caviar Philly for 2.6 million, it certainly shows that there's incredible money out in the market for the right horse. You know, it was, it was bought by an organisation that was not obvious, uh, and that's the thing about the, the thoroughbred industry, you just never know where the buyer's coming from, uh, and they can come out of left field, and in this stage they probably have. $2.6 million, enormous amount of money, we won't see that price come up again for some time. Hey, Sally. Thank you very much. One more to go, and we're just going to keep that average up to 200 or more. So it's looking pretty good at the moment. So, well, that's, I honestly thought he'd make two to 250. And Brent will be disappointed with that, but you know us, we like to sell them and we want to get them out of the way. And yeah. we've done really well on the other three, so at least we've sold 100%. So all the best for them. Thank you. Okay, thanks. See ya. Job done. Job Absolutely done. job done. Yeah. And John fought the last horse, and we've, John's bought the horse's office for probably 25 years. And we're generally on the winning side of the equation, and uh, he got one back. Yeah. And it, look, he's a good judge, and he's a really, really nice horse. So he'll do well with him, so that's a perfect, perfect result. Nearby another one on myself. We'll get him next time. <laughs>